All right, people, we are back. So, yes. this is season one, week five, match one. Yep. Go ahead and tell us what's up. All right, it is not a divisional match, and it is versus the Yuma Utopians, Paolo, who has Necros of Volcanics and Lights Alone, and still has zero points. Sad face. <laughs> versus the Yusei Star Dragons, who is Omega Chaos, who has Satel Knight, Ritual Beast, and Necrolic Beast, and is leading the entire league with six points. So what a difference. We've got joint bottom of the league with, you know, Kyle, who's got zero points, and then um, top of the league, Omega Chaos, who has six points. It's like, damn. Yep. And as you can tell by the title, Omega Chaos decided to go ahead and use their tier two deck of Ritual Beast. Don't crucify us. I know. You get it, everybody. Like, it should be 2 1, I get it. Holy crap. No, it shouldn't. It should be 2 0. It's fucking too good. Ritual Beast, fucking. And you know, they Ritual talk that Beast, world, could, you know. They could they could fucking slap the shit out of Dragon Rules for power. Fuck that. No. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, <I> <laughs> no, 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 they couldn't. I actually had someone say that the fucking Ritual Beast is stronger than Full Power Dragon Rules. I'm like, you never played in Full Power Dragon Rules, like that, did you? Like, no. Never forget. No. <laughs> It's like, oh, your steeds, yeah, that's cute. I'm just going to banish more dragons and summon more dragons and draw and out-resource you anyway. Yeah, don't worry. About and this deck has consistency issues. Yeah, like, I, I, I've never seen this deck open up okay. It's either I, they I, open up stupid I, I good or they open up oh, yeah. bad. Yeah. Oh, my God, that's game. Uh, before I... Oh, fuck. I forgot to go ahead and announce. Pops is actually using... Uh, tier 3 light swarms, and that's a macro. <laughs> I better be a riding down there. Uh, don't tell me Pops is gonna get fucked up by the number generator like last week. Again. <laughs> tier first, two king, now macro. Oh my god. <laughs> but no, uh, and people Pops... still believe this number generator doesn't exist. Like, okay. Hopefully that is a Raikou to go ahead and flip yeah. and pop. Hopefully. That friggin' macro cosmos, because otherwise, uh... So Pops can win this. Pops can easily go ahead and take two points. But if not, then once again, Omega will just keep on leading the pack. Has Omega, uh, has Omega lost a duel all season? I don't think so. Hmm, I don't remember. Actually, I think, yeah, Omega's lost one duel. Oh, wow. And still leading. It's because yeah. it just happens to be that Omega just knows uh, when to use the lower tier decks and just happens to bop all the... Everybody's upper two decks and just steal points. I think. Don't quote me on that. I'm sure. I'm sure we'll get corrected in the comments if he hasn't lost a single duel. But yeah, you know. I believe. I, I believe that Omega has lost a duel. I just can't remember against whom. I said this is week five and everything is a blur. <laughs> yeah, everything just blurs. When you have to do four fucking different duels between the same couple of people and same couple of decks every so often, you know, every, after five weeks it just all blurs into one big mess. So we can clearly see that that Kanahawk has stayed on the field. Uh, two turns enough to go ahead and use both effect. I want. Can you steeze? Yeah, okay, that was there's, a Raiko. Ooh. I'm about to say good. So how does Raiko work? It pops, Flip. then it mills. It has to yeah. pop first, then it mills. Yeah, in sequence. So pop, then mill. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, and I saw a dragon. I, I didn't see what the first card was. Gauze. Oh, okay. Oh, Miracle. Nice. Damn. Good job, Raiko. And there's one JD. If Pops didn't have that Raikou, he'd be fucked. Mm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, but what, what would you do in Life Swarm versus a fucking Macro Cosmos? Like, what do you do? Take it up the ass, that's what you do. So I don't know much about Ritobi, so I've I have actually never played the deck in my entire life. So, uh, because those two are banished, can he play uh, can he play Ambush or does it have to be one grip or one banish? No. Or... No, it can be either it can be either two, any in graveyard or banish as long as it's a tamer and a ritual beast monster. So, so Omega can play. If Omega has an ambush set, he can just chain it whenever he wants. Ambush, steeds, anything? Or are you just gonna allow that attack to go through? No, nope. right. allowing it to go through. Okay. Uh -huh. So Jane, in that attack, there gets the additional three hundred attack. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh my God, they can do math. <laughs> Like last week. Oh my god. <laughs> that was, that was 50. Like, terrible both mills. Bad at math. Terrible, terrible mills. So far, Pops is not doing so hot. I mean, I'd say the best thing about Pops' mills right now is that at least he has a Dark and a Light in the graveyard for a little bit of BLS action, but besides that, so, not, 
not looking too promising. Nope. And with no backer to stop any of Omega's, Omega's plays. No. Yeah, that's the problem with light swarms. Like, how... Yeah, they can do shit, but, you know... What? Yeah. Oh, yeah, he gets one back from the zone, and then when will summon Rapengu? Yep. Like I said, when is good, but, it, you know, it, to go off first turn it takes a little bit of setup. You know, you got a foolish and then go ahead and go off. It d definitely seems like if you open up with Elder... It seems like Elder is definitely... When is the one that finished. gets banished? It's Lara that gets him from the graveyard. Oh. Yeah, and Elder's from hand. We also have a Zephyr monster that does the same as Lara. Okay. As in Summon from the Grave, which okay. some people tend to go one Lara, one of the Zephyr version thing. Mm. And some people just run two Lara or one Lara. I personally just run one Lara. Because she's better late game. You do never really want to open with her first turn unless you don't have a way to make a uh, fusion. Alright, so is it time to eat some slime? Mm, I does, anybody, mean, does anybody remember that from Billy and Mandy? Rapengu effect, Omega? We be playing Rapengu's effect, putting a Ritual Beast uh, fusion in the Banished Zone, and putting one of the Ritual Beast materials for it in the grave. So you've got, so you can go Canahawk. But actually, no, you can't even, well, you, no, you can't even go Canahawk. Well, you can, but you couldn't do the whole search, put one back, and chain effect, bounce it back, summon them back, because you can only special summon Rapengu once per turn. Mm. So, you can, yeah, so alright, Rapengu effects, put Leo in the graveyard. It's a good thing that we have a skilled person it's... playing the deck of Ritual Beast, because yeah. this is a deck that can, you could easily mess up with. And, yeah, you know, it is. When you're doing you against know it, your always shit. keep track of your opponent. Right yep. down, you, you know, gotta know your shit when you're playing this deck, sort of. Because uh, when I, I ever duel on Vitamin Wine, people try to cheat all the time. Yeah. They'll be like, oh well, yeah, like, summon, um, and then they'll con contact, and then I'm contact, and they'll summon the same monster, and they'll be like, oh, you can only special summon that monster once per turn, and they'll be like, oh yeah, and they'll fuck up, and just, mm-mm. Mm -hmm. Although, yeah, like I said, you know, we just try and do stupid shit. Alright, so what so do you want to go for? So Rampungu cannot be summoned. What? So Rampangu can't be summoned, right? Rampangu can't be special summoned, so, like I said, Omega can now go Kanahawk effect, put, uh... So put two out of three of the banished ones back into the grave and search but you can't go defuse and get the when and get like uh, or get the when and Rapengu back for example yeah, yeah. because Rapengu's already been special summoned this turn yep see I know my ritual beast well I'm glad you know because I, I have never played this deck I know, I've I, only I, beat I play it in duels real, in play in real life so yeah I know it <laughs> Alright, so, kind of hot. You're gonna search your ambush so you can get your two. No, oh, steeds. That must mean you have an ambush set. Yep. Maybe. But you can't special summon it still. Because you still special summon Rapengu. Yep. So if, so if you did have ambush set, you really should have played it on the end phase. Because that wouldn't have been the same turn, it would have been the next turn, technically. Maybe they'd be fun on taking the duel slow. Yeah, the problem is that if you take the duel too slow, then. Um, no. Target no, one of your no ritual Omega. beast monsters and one of your that are either banished on your graveyard. Don't they have like a different? Yeah, they yeah. can summon when and then oh, a different. Oh, Canahawk. Yeah, you got Canahawk. Yeah, you got yeah, Canahawk. Yeah. All right, and then Canahawk effects banish something. Okay, so when Canahawk and Rampungu have all been special summon. Yep. Okay. Well, Canahawk it doesn't matter. Oh yeah, Canahawk it doesn't matter. Also, Canahawk it doesn't matter. I mean. Okay. But, yeah. Mm, probably be best to go for either a petal fin, ulti petal fin, or an ulti uh, Leo. Leo is like a. Leo Sorry, is the one is the twenty six hundred beta that pretty much is uh, for damage calculation. I made these effects, not damage stat, but damage calculation. I thought it was more like a star eater. Or a Star Eater, you know, it, they can't activate shit on the damage. Oh, y'all yeah, running the Zephyr one. Alright, nice. No, no, isn't it that it's unaffected by card effects when it declares an attack? Yeah. That, during, that's damage, Star during, during damage calculation. Yeah, that, that's Star Eater, not Amadeus. Alright. Right. <laughs> Amadeus would have been much better, though, because, of course, mm. he can be unaffected, but just not stopping Pops from dropping it on us on his own monster. Yeah, no. Well, if there's our mateys, then there'd be no on us. Yep, there it is. Okay. 
And uh, we're gonna see if this is gonna die or not. Probably will. Oh no, down. Nice. Alright, attack goes through. Cool. Uh, really wish I could check Pop's graveyard to see how many light ones he's got, but stupid deer. Yep, that would be great if we could. <laughs> nope. Fuck you. Hey, answer. is it JD time? Even though you could go ahead and steal oh, it. I'm going one. You've milled the JD. One, two. Oh, there's, there's, you unless have a Jane, I'm missing one. You, got you have a Ryko. You, you have, have a Lumina. Jane, you have a Lumina. You have a Jane. You have Ryko. That's three. Okay, yeah, that's three. That's all I remember. Uh, that's yeah, another Raikou. Right Unless we saw one get not, you know, get milled too quick, and then we didn't see it, obviously. Well, I mean, I guess Leo would be pretty decent to handle it, because it, it, when it attacks... Oh, I'm going to go ahead and just break them both apart during the, yeah, end, on the phase. end phase. And then it will pass the next turn, so they haven't been special to them that turn, so you can just sort of use them more, which is nice. Yep. I personally would have gone for Leo. Yeah, you got Leo. Yeah, I personally. Wait, he sent the Leo. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I personally would have gone through. I believe the Leo is in the graveyard. Yeah, I personally would have gone. Oh right, yeah, it's not banished. Uh, I'm getting, I'm getting it confused with Ambush. So Raikou's yeah. not terrible against the fusions because Omega attacks. I, I believe Raikou goes off during the damage step, in which case you cannot do your effects during the damage step. Mhm. Mm so that would be too terrible. Just seems like your Ryko is a little bit too slow. Seems like you're getting outpaced, but uh, I definitely think Omega needs to pick up the pace. Yeah, I mean, it's going it's only going to be so long until uh, Pops has three, and it's going to be JD time. So, but at least these will be able to handle that. Well, I mean, what Omega could do right now is he could also make ulti uh, ulti guy Pelio, which can negate everything, and it's thirty two. Yeah, that'd be nice. Just needs to go into a fusion, like a can of hawk, search, you know, if that pop too bad, search, and then... Yeah. Anything, I'd say Pops is, was too slow in this duel. Yep. I say when I do at Locals, I do against the people that, you know, open up with, like, double solar recharge and all the charged light brigades and go to town. Oh, <laughs> the lucky ones. Yeah, the lucky ones. I never do. I don't know. I have I, have I never light. open like that when I play light swarms, and I've got them in real life, too. And it's like one, one of the few... Couple of decks I've got in real life. I never fucking open like that. I wish I did. Like my luck bad. Everybody else's luck higher than mine. It's bad. My luck is so bad that I cut them into good luck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then kinda hook back. Oh, fuck it. Back. The Let's do back and search. So to compensate for my terrible luck, I don't care if I wear if I'm playing a fucking helmet deck. Fucking tower turbo, I don't care. I don't care, you can't make me feel bad, because I want to win. <laughs> mm -hmm. You're in, yep. Pengu. You haven't special summoned yet. Yep. Any of them yet, because that was on last turn, I'm phase. Yep. And Omega is just going to town right now. I, I, mm. I don't even think that... Uh... So pretty, much Omega, pretty much at this point, Omega's going to probably get about two or three searches off, right, of Ritual Beast cards. And then probably, I'm guessing, finish up with an ulti Gaia Pelio, and then even if that's a Raikou, you can just go and fucking negate it by pitching one of the three searched cards that you searched this turn. And, uh, yeah, that'll be pretty much it, because you can't even drop a JD and run you over. You can drop a JD, but you can go to Yeah. Pitch, pitch negate. A yeah. Pitch negate, and then that's all your free JD's gone, and Omega wins. Yep. And then BOS. Yes. And then comes the giant fist! <laughs> if only priority existed. Oh my god, priority was so stupid. Priority would be so dumb if Omega didn't uh, summon Ozzy, uh, what's it called? Ga what's his name? Hannah Hawk? No. Gaia Pelio? Yeah. Ulti Gaia Pelio, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You'd just be like, summon JD, and then of course Omega would go ahead and activate Steez's JD into like, priority, activate effect to wipe. <laughs> yes. Priority was so stupid. Like I said, I wasn't around by then, but it sounds stupid. It pretty much made monsters there spell speed 1, spell oh. speed 2, just because you say priority. <laughs> okay. Like, it was that dumb. It'd be like, I summon my BLS, and you go bottomless. I'm gonna go priority effect to banish. What? Yeah. 
That makes no sense. Because then it was a street rule and it worked its way all the way up until Konami had to address it. <laughs> I'm guessing you were one of the people who did not mind it, that getting No, I hated priority. priority. I thought it was stupid. It didn't make any sense. Just because you called it. It's like, when, when did Yu-Gi-Oh become such a verbal game? Like, I have to call... It's like, instead of my bo my balance being spell speed 2 and your BLS being spell speed 1 and you can't activate its effect if I hit you before you can activate your effect on summon, instead, I yep. gotta call priority on my bottom list? That doesn't make any fucking sense. Yep. And then you're gonna contact some sort of guy? You know? Guy? Hey, that's... Hey, back then, that's when uh, Shien can negate that solemn warning. Because I'm gonna call priority and have Shien negate your uh, solemn warning. What? <laughs> but it was spell speed free. No, priority. <laughs> I get to activate my effect. So I negate your following warning. Yeah, you negate my fucking nuts in your mouth when my dick slaps you across the face so on the other side of the table. Well, I call priority, so I get to slap you in the face with my dick first, so. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to knock you out because my dick is that big. <laughs> That you're gonna Maybe be unconscious. A Maybe under microscope, buddy. Maybe <laughs> under a microscope. You're gonna put that Russian Russian bow, and I call priority, so I get to what? kick you in. Double, I get to kick you wait, in the nuts wait, first. Double, don't wait, double. Double Leo. Why didn't you go finish with an old sea guy Then you'd no have, then you'd have the negating power on your turn. Yeah, I hope you have something, cause that is the fourth light sword. Oh, never mind. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh well. Good. I have never seen Lightshorns act so slow and so casually. I know, usually they're just like, Lightshorns, we're here, we're gonna fucking wreck your shit, Arr! and beat your ass, and he's like, alright. <laughs> I guess Omega needs more searching. I know. More! Thank yep, you. Pops is just like, nope, fuck that. Alright, we are going to game two, people. We're back. Done. Alright, and we are back, people. <clears throat> so, uh... Okay, Pop's gonna go ahead and uh, start it off, so maybe... Oh, Mulligan. You know, Pop's is like one of the few people that actually uses the Mulligan. I know, like, no one well. ever really uses it. But... Oh my god, that hand. Wasn't... Yeah, no wonder you Mulligan. Yeah, that. no wonder you Mulligan. I would say it wasn't too bad, but then I was like, oh wait, fucking Garroth kept mill, and let someone else mill, so... Yeah. Uh, and I was really... Jane, Garroth's not that bad, if you can get him. Garrus got like, Lumen, like, Lumen to get Gareth back from the graveyard if we've already got one in there. Like, that's not too bad, but... No. Yeah. Because you then, it's like Minerva, but, you know, obviously you need more, but, you know... Gareth got, got replaced by fucking Raiden. Raiden took over Gareth's spot. Yeah. I seriously then, thought that Pops was going to go ahead and take And then Minerva in. took Gareth's job. Yeah, I seriously thought that Pops was going to take advantage of going first and maybe get some mills before, you know, getting stopped or... Uh, wound up by a mega. Oh. Seems like once again. Are we again, gonna see an e telly? Some... Powerful e telly. There it is. Yep. Here we go, people. Here we go. Let's see. All right. So. Ooh, oh. That's a choice. That is a choice. You want to stop? You want to let it? Do you want to let him plus? I mean, he's gonna leave him out right now because nothing you can do. But do you want to let him plus and get your mods, get your thing on board, or do you not want to? I mean. Going into a Leo right now would actually be a pretty good choice. Because if that's a Raikou, then... Can't do it. Yeah. Oh, no, on damage count. It's on damage step, which Leo, you know, you can't activate on. Okay. So, Leo. Where is it damage? Hang on, where is it fucking damage count? It's oh, unaffected by the card effects until the end of the damage step. Okay. So if it's a Raikou, then nothing. Yep, nothing. You get no cards. You get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. And does Raikou have to destroy target card? It has to destroy, to destroy to mill, yeah. Okay. It, it actually... In, uh, no, he can't, no. No, he can't. A party's effects in sequence, so if you don't re resolve the first sequence... Target one card on the field, destroy that target. Which, he can't, so, how can he mill, because he can't, well, he could target, but it would be unaffected, right? But then it's not destroyed. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. 
I need McLaren if that. Yep, exactly. Cause you can't. Uh, I mean, I'd say it was a pretty good choice, given the additional draw just to stop the, you know, the additional milling. <laughs> oh yeah. And the popping. So, not not bad, not bad. Nope. So. Anything else? Is that some background? Yep. Mm hmm. Oh my mm. god. Yeah, that's ritual beast way. Yeah. My build, plays, my build plays 22 fucking traps. That is a lot of fucking traps. I don't know, that's a lot of traps. Mirror Force is not the best card to be using I'm, up against I'm Light the guy who mains. I'm the guy who <gasps> mains fucking. Oh my god. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Another one! I wonder if he threw the blind space. Yeah. He, he could have used the other one, that's why. Yep. Once again, Omega opens up with the, the macro, but it does not last long. Terrible mills. Oh, wow. Booty mills. General oh. mills. <laughs> Cereal. Oh, just going to go ahead and play the Mirror Force before you even get your Honest attack through. So, obviously, Pops has an Honest. <laughs> but Mega is giving Pops the work right now. Giving Pops the reach around. Actually, how many traps do I play in my build? Let's we'll see. I play double mirror force, double deep prison, solo, bottomless, TT. I play triple blackhorn, triple mind crush. Only you would play triple blackhorn. Mm hmm. Triple mind crush. Um. What else do I think I can play? Hang on. Sounds like my duel against you will come down to a dice roll. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> and I just oh, yeah, gotta... oh yeah, triple fiendish. I just gotta hope and pray that you don't Mac get one of Macro Cosmos. Oh, uh, double ambush, triple seed. How many is that now? Oh, let me count. Oh. Mm. So wait, what was the point of... Oh, and Vanities. Yeah. Anyway, so, and what was the point of what? Ripping apart to resummon to then resummon again, contact again to the same thing. Not a clue. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, if you went, like, into a friggin' Canahawk and then you used the effect to get a search and then you went and then you went back into, you know, the Leo, then yeah, fair right, enough. Let's two her back. I guess Pedalfin at this point? Ulti Petalfin. Oh yeah, Palio Banish. No, I think I'm gonna be gonna be the Hawk again, and then I think it's gonna be Ulti Counter Hawk, and I think Counter Hawk put, them two, put them two, put them two back. Yeah. But then again, it depends if Omega wants to play it safe because Ulti uh, a Palio, not Palio, Ulti Petalfin can't be destroyed by card effects. But it can be ran over. Yeah, but it's got 2,800 booty. And JD has 3,000, so. Yeah, that's true. How many does he have in Grave Mode? I don't know. I don't yeah, think exactly. that many. I don't think we have to worry about JD time just yet. And I'm learning. I'm learning the plays just by watching. You're learning, ma. Yep, that's the exact play I thought that Omega was gonna do. Yep. Wow. So funny, I at my locals as a Burning Abyss player versus a Ritual Beast player. The Ritual Beast player opened up with fucking uh, macro on game one. Burning Abyss wow. player lost, and then game two he opened up with Defager, but then he had the MST, and then he was like, "I was like, uh, activate uh, Defager." He was like, "Chain MST." He's like, "Chain macro." <laughs> Damn. <laughs> GG. -G -G. Real nice number generator. Oh shit, Aaron. Check. <laughs> oh damn. Damn. Get... Well, I mean, he could have detached. I mean, not detached. Right? Oh no, he can't because no, he's vanished. There's none vanished. So. Wait a minute. How did he get a full confusion on the bug when none banished? They have to banish to fuse. He did, but then he he used Ulti Canahawk effect to return from banished to right. Banished. Okay, yeah. Oh, it don't matter anyway. Yep. <sighs> 
Damn, and Pops and is then, in here and milling. Then he, and then he goes, wow, Miss Blay should have played the Leo effect on M face to banish the ambush. So you've got an extra card so you can put that back with Ulti and Hawk and Jamie yeah. Fett. Once a turn during either player's turn, you can banish a ritual of yep. this card from your graveyard. Mm -hmm. People forget that all the time. They're like, I'm going to run into your thing. and like, no, you're not. <laughs> banish. Fuck you. <laughs> I actually had a duel versus light spawns uh, when I went to my first sneak peek. And uh, they did that exact thing where they went, JD, they couldn't get over my ulti petal thing, so he went to run me over. I had a Leo on board. And I just went, effect. Banished, like, an ambush, I think it was, or a steed. It was something like that. And I raised my ulti petal thing's defense to 3300. I'm like, yep, and you can stream my card first. I mean, you can use your JD to kill my Leo now, but I don't really give a shit about that. It's done its job. You went right into that booty. Yeah. <clears throat> yes. Oh, both of that. Mm-hmm. Like I said, they can search a shit ton. <laughs> yep. I love them because they remind me of Infernities. I love that. That's my favorite deck in all of Yu-Gi-Oh! is Infernities. That's my most hated deck in all of Yu-Gi-Oh! Wow. <laughs> you have such bad taste. You have bad taste. <laughs> you kidding me? Your fucking infirmities are awesome. You'd be like, oh, fucking go searching oh, control the and shit like that, and you fucking bring out these big beefy synchros. And I love synchros. That's my favorite fucking fu bloody uh, not fu my favorite summoning ta card type of what all of you get, and it just busts out those fucking badass synchros. Like that. That's awesome. If season frenzies don't care, I can die in the pit, but synchro frenzies, that's my love. You know why? So you can just synchro and desynchro your goddamn Trishula and take oh, everything nice. out of my hand? Fuck you. Fuck no, you. no, not desynchro. No, fuck the Trish. But I mean, like, no, bloody, like, make fucking things and then search. Like, go into 100 eyes, you can banish a Mirage and tribute 100 eyes and go fucking go summon your things back, get searches, and get more fucking barriers, go do that, make another hundred dies, go fucking... You mean get your one and barrier. Get another barrier. Get your one barrier. <laughs> Hopefully it'll go With your free. one archery. No! You get yeah. nothing! You lose! <laughs> Good day, sir! <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's what you get yeah. for winning worlds. You don't get yeah, shit. But, yeah, but that's why I love Ritual Beast so much. You know, they don't... You know, they remind me so much of them. I wouldn't care if you even oh. fucking. I hate searching back row. I think it's stupid that you can search it's, for back I know, but I love it because uh, fuck you, I want to win, and you don't get to play Yu Gi Oh! That's like a shit, and you wonder why I play fucking Tower Turbos. Exactly. You can search out that back row you want, but as soon as I drop that tower, that's gay. You lose. You lose, sir. <laughs> Good day. <laughs> I'd be, I'd be oh. beating Richard Beast butt all day at locals. <laughs> Mean triple share the pain. <laughs> the fuck? Yeah. Oh my god, is that Aaron gonna get the kick off again? Oh no, it's the easiest time. <laughs> I'd say, yeah, girl, that him kick your monster again, right? Punt your freaking. Uh... Oh. Oh god. shit. Oh what? shit. Black horn of heaven. JD is yep, an and inherent. That is an summon. inherent summon. Yes, oh, it is, people. Yeah. Get that JD off of the field. There is no priority. <laughs> Pops is just in awe. It's like, my, my, my judgment in before he dropped another one. I know. <laughs> oh yeah? You thought that was over? Another JD! Like... Oh I'm my done. god. <laughs> That's what happened to me. He's like, oh, it's Synchro Summon and Michael. I'm like, Blackhorn? And he's like, Summon JD? I'm like, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Pops is the snuggles right now. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. P Pops. Pops can't win a thing. Poor guy. I feel mm -mm. so sorry for him. Every week. week five. There is... There Every is only... fucking week. And the bad thing... The, the There's thing only is, two so, more thing... weeks, people. <laughs> I know. Two more? I thought there were three. This is week five. Yeah? And I thought it was it goes to week eight, doesn't it? No. There's eight... I, no, you don't do it yourself. Eight teams, right. that means that every team does every team in seven weeks. Wow, okay, damn. <laughs> How are you doing so yourself? In two, in two, so in two weeks, Pops has to get some significant points on the board. Yep. In two weeks. I mean, I feel sorry for Pops more than Kyle, because Kyle 
has had the chance where he could have won duels, and he fucked it up. You know? Pops just so, gets the shit you know, slapped out of Pop, Pop, Where Pops just sort of gets wrecked by even number generator or bullshit or just something, or just, just gets wrecked straight up. Like, I feel like out of everyone with zero points, I feel sorry for Pops the most because he's just like, he's not playing badly. He's not a bad duelist, you know what I mean? Mm hmm. He's not playing. Oh not no, play pops! I know. Yeah, he knows that. what we're saying. Like he's on the call. He isn't. He's open good. Yeah. Yeah. That's 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 pretty much how all your matches go, isn't it, pops? It is. I feel bad. Like I said, he's not a, like I said, he's not a bad duelist, and he doesn't have bad decks, and he doesn't misplay like Kyle misplays every now and again, so on, which costs him games. So it's not like you can blame any of that. It's just like shit that he gets. No. So there you go, people. Pop still with zero points. Still at the bottom of the division. I feel so bad. It's still so bad. And he lost the lunar too. Yeah. Yeah, he lost the lunar last week. So you know, yeah. even if Pops gets one point and Lunar gets no points for the rest of the season, and they both end up with one point. Luna will be making tip playoffs because we uh, check and see who won that duel between the two. <sighs> the snuggles, the snuggles are real, and Omega Chaos continues at least seven points. Seven now, yeah. Holy shit! Well, uh, two more weeks. If anybody can get up to seven points in the next and last two weeks here, well, three weeks technically, because no one else. Well, that's technically duel. impossible for anyone at zero. <laughs> yeah. Considering the most you can get is two, so I mean three. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, two. Yep, so there you go, people. So, I hope that you guys enjoy. You know, let's just keep cheering Pops on. You can do it, Pops. If you're do being cute. You can do it if you're being cute. <laughs> so, you have no idea where that's from, do you? No. I don't know what you're talking There's about. There's a local, um, well, not local. There is a UK chain of, like, sort of uh, gardening and other, like, sort of supplies, like, you know, like, timber and shit like that, uh, called B&Q. And their adverts, like, ages back, were like, you can do it if you're being cute. So it sort of became a little meme over here. Over there, where no one cares about. <gasps> fuck you. I'm just saying, America, fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, people. So, sorry to be a little bit racist there. <laughs> fuck America. <laughs> you want to say that to my face? I'll fucking strangle you with your flags. With your st I'll punch you and you'll be seeing stars and stripes. <laughs> America. I'll fucking beat your ass like it's 1812 all over but, again. What, like Bandit Keith when he got fucking wrecked and he got dumped into the water by Pegasus and then mind controlled by Marek? So you don't know Do any of that. Who, you don't know how bad America is. Who the fuck is America a Bandit Keith? Ain't exactly. nothing. And right. it keeps like the all American. My president is American black head. and my Lambo is blue. What? It's an expression, even though I don't oh. have a Lambo. <laughs> oh, I definitely don't have a Lambo. <laughs> no, but you do have a car going by in the ghetto. I don't live in the ghetto. What do you do? No. You, your mum even said that you live in the ghetto. Yeah, she I said we live, live in the barrio. No, she said the ghetto. She said she lives in the bio. You live in the ghetto. What the fuck? We live in the city. You know what? I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. All right, people. <laughs> so I hope that you guys enjoyed. So, of course, we still got plenty of more matches to go. Week five. So, like I said, week six, week seven, and then the playoffs. So, people are trying to gather points, get their positions set, and uh, soon we will be into the playoffs and then wrapping it all up for season one. So, we're all about, yeah. what, halfway done, I'd say? Yeah, I'd say. About halfway done. A little bit over. All right, people. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. So thank you, Santi, for joining. No problem. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And yeah, see you guys in a couple hours with a uh, match two of week five. All right, people. Thanks for watching.